adding integers on a number line. Okay, let's say I have uh, plus two and I want to add plus three. Okay, I've added all these positive ones to make it quite obvious that I'm doing addition and I'm doing addition with positive integers. Okay, but really you could just as easily not have that there and not have that there and you would say, okay, well, what's two plus three? And we could use a number line to figure that out. So we start with two, solid dot at two. We're gonna add three and we're gonna add positive three. When we add, we move to the right. Okay, so we're gonna move to the right three positions, one, two, three. Okay, so we end up here and right here is number five. So we end up at five. So two plus three is five, which we probably could have done before without a number line, but we're gonna use it just to illustrate a few points here. If we add a negative number, then we move to the left. Okay, so if we're adding a positive number, go to the right. If we're adding a negative number, go to the left. So let's start with two again. And, but this time, let's add negative five. Okay. So, we're starting with two, and that's the same position as the last time where we started, but now we're gonna add negative five. This means we're gonna move to the left. We're adding a negative number. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five positions to the left. So we end up right here, which is negative three. So two plus negative five is negative three, okay? So we can add positive numbers or we can add negative numbers. And so when we say adding a negative number, it's the same thing as subtracting. So for instance, if we had, if we start with one and we're gonna add negative four, okay? We're starting here, we're going four units to the left what we're really saying is this is the same as one minus four. Okay, and we can represent that just as we did for the last one. One, we move to the left, four units, and we end up with negative three. So one plus negative four is one minus four, and that is negative three.